All right, Matt, what are we standing in front of right now? So this is the 2021 Mazda 3. This is Mazda's hot hatch. Hot hatch. Hot hatch. With the two and a half liter turbo four uh, with 227 horsepower and an astonishing 310 pound feet of torque. I think that's, that's pretty good diesel. That's yeah. a good diesel number right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here it's starting already. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't do this because it's, it's, let me be very clear. It's a great car. Yeah. I'm going to recommend it to everyone. It really yeah. is. Um, it's just not what, again, expectations is not what I expect from Mazda. Hey gearheads, just a quick reminder, hit that subscribe button down below because when we get to 500 subscribers, we will review Nelly Cruz, my car. And when we hit 1,000, we're gonna review Matt's car. And who knows what he will have done to it by then. Or if, if it's, it's the same car. <laughs> if it's even the same car. So be sure, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified every time we post a video. This car, well, for one, it's a hot hatch. Yes. Hot hatches have a special place in my heart. Yes. Um, for multiple reasons, but this has always been the runner up to the GTI. Yep. And not that Mazda has done anything wrong necessarily, it's just the GTI is so good. Yes. Um, so I'm curious to see how this acts, how it responds. I can tell you right off the bat, um, this is arguably a nicer place to be yes. than the GTI. Yes. This is much more of a car feel. It's still a hatch, but more of a car feel. You kind of sit down in it a little more. Um, good grief. Leather, everything. Yep. All the buttons, Various. all the gadgets. I love the screen. It kind of sunk in to the dash yeah. there a little bit. <laughs> Don't touch it. Just use the controls down here. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the dash. Very soft padded leather, uh, and then injected molded plastic above that. But right, right in front of you, very, very nice soft touch stitched leather. Yeah. Um, Bose premium sound in this one. It's got paddle shifters, Corey. Yeah. I hope it's not like the paddle shifters in the last week we drove. <laughs> uh, most likely not. Yeah, probably not. This has got a little bit of zoom zoom to it, baked into its DNA. Right even though they don't really advertise it that way anymore. One thing that would have made this car just that much better, a legit manual, manual transmission. It pulls pretty good. <laughs> yes, it does. If you don't want to use the paddles, if you want to use that as kind of a joystick to row through the gears, up is down and down is up. Which right, in, back is up and forward yeah. is, yeah. In our opinion, and many others like us, that is the correct way to do it. Yep. This has definitely taken the uh, hot hatch segment to a whole nother level. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Pulls really strong. So. What we've got right here is the Skyactiv 2.5 liter dual overhead KM turbo engine, six speed sport mode automatic transmission, 227 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. Which, in a car this That's size, stout. <laughs> goodness gracious. Uh, MSRP as tested, 35,415. Wow. I would definitely like to take this one on the track. Yeah. Uh, just to see how it acts. Yeah. That doesn't get old. No. Nope. And again, uh, very refreshing, manual yep. shade. Yep. So Mazda for a while has been growing the length of their yes. hot hatch. Um, it, it, it's, the body style right before this one bugged me. Yeah. Uh, it just didn't look right. This one's been updated a little bit. You know, changed a few of the headlights, tail light lines, and things like that. And then the hatch portion, I think, is where they really hit a home run on the styling of this. Yeah. 
this. It looks much better on this than the previous, for sure. Not very many buttons in this thing. No. Which is Ooh. honestly a good thing. I like it. It's simple. It's nice. It's it's mm -hmm. a comfortable place to be. Lots of nice things to touch in here. Um, oh, a little bit of your piano black on the doors here. Ooh, yeah. All the grab points. Um, Anywhere your hand is naturally going to lay. Right. It's somewhere that's going to lay fingerprints. But uh, overall, very well, yeah. very well executed, very well uh, done on the refresh. Yes. I, I really, really like this a lot. All right, Matt, what are we standing in front of right now? So this is the 2021 Mazda 3. This is Mazda's hot hatch. It's been refreshed for this year. And personally, it's much better than it was, much better. Um, the rear hatch, like we talked about earlier, has been fixed. I don't even know quite for sure what they did with it to fix it, but the proportion seems so much better. It's not like frumpy and doesn't fall off the backside versus the, the previous body style. It just, this, the proportions are much more right with this vehicle, especially with the nose. Um, they pinched down this front section here and kind of flattened out the hood so that it's got more of a wedge shape and less of that awkward bubble that the uh, previous generation was. Yeah, so we're hoping that our mic is not catching all the wind <laughs> that has moved into uh, North Texas today. But uh, yeah, to Matt's point, the styling on this has been much improved all the way around. It, it, like you said, it very much has a very wedge shape to it. Uh, that splitter up front really lets people know you mean business oh, yeah. in the hot hatch segment. Black wheels don't hurt that either. But yeah, to your point, it, it's all right here. It, it's a huge blind spot. <laughs> How was it driving it, Matt? W I, was it a problem? No, it wasn't at all, really. Um... I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to what was going <laughs> yeah. on behind me, but uh, it didn't it didn't feel like it was a bad view. So I can tell you, I'm looking over my shoulder now. Uh -huh. It's a bit of a blind spot. Is it? But I drove a 2012 Camaro. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that rear quarter is the the spot that it's the money shot. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to say it, but it it, it is uh, just yeah, a slam dunk on the design of this guy. Okay. Um, I like the seating position. This is not bad at all. Yeah. How's it compared to uh, that coupe I have, SUV? Where I just... actually have more headroom in this than I did it. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when Ford redesigned the Raptor, I know I'm going way out in left field here, but stick with me. For when Ford redesigned the Raptor from the first to the second generation, the word was refinement. Yes. Everything about that truck yes. was done better. The lines were better. The interior was better. Some might argue that the engine left a little to be desired, but... Like two cylinders, but... Yeah, hmm. yeah. Uh, but everything about it was refinement. Everything was about making what that truck was better. This is refinement. This is... The, the harsh lines have been smoothed out. You know, it's all been sanded down and roughed out even even a little more, finished out a little better. Uh, I love it. This is a good steering wheel. Oh, I man. like it. It's angled in all the right ways, if that makes sense. It, it's not just round in yeah. your hands and good grips. Not overly stylized, not a huge cover for the uh, 
airbag. And not like 87 buttons on it either. Yeah. <laughs> it's the ones you need. Cruise on the right, infotainment and stereo on the left. How do you like that screen from the driver's seat? It's pretty good. It, it's far away, but right. again, you've got a controller down here to handle all that. So nothing really to worry about when it comes to and I like that Mazda is doing that. It, it's right at your hands. Yeah. You don't have to reach. You don't have to do anything. And it, it seems intuitive enough to be able to click through. So. Okay. Okay. Yep. It'll scoot. Yes, it does. It'll move. I like that. Hello. This is an incredible commuter car. Yeah. Like to jump up on the highway when you need to. It's not real big, so you know, scooting in between parking spots or traffic or anything like that wouldn't be an issue. Nope. And it's comfortable. The suspension doesn't tear you up. Yeah. Aside from that big <laughs> obvious blind spot over your shoulder, uh, it does have blind spot monitoring, so they take that into consideration there at least on this uh, top touring trim. Um, it, you can see out of it quite well all around you. Yeah. Uh, not, not a bad rig. A little bit of a small view out the back, especially if you got some heads bobbling around back there. <laughs> Laying your way, Corey. Yeah. Imagine if I had a car seat in the middle which I wouldn't put it in the middle so much in that one, I guess. The reason it's in the middle of my car is my arm doesn't bend in the way it needs to bend to latch it in oh, properly yeah. on, on the outboard positions. It does have nice little spots back here with yep. covers on them for uh, broken in a car seat. It's kind of nice. And I love the heads up display. Like I said, I, that used to be a luxury feature. Right. And now that it's trickling down into hot hatch segment like this is a livable for anyone hot hatch most definitely except for our wives yeah because neither one of them like hatchbacks so th this is as close as we're ever going to get to something like this matt right we should enjoy it not a bad day at the office huh Corey? not a bad day indeed i like it i like it a lot i do too if i was looking for I mean, really a car at all. Yep. Um, this would definitely be on the list of ones I'd be checking out. Absolutely. This is this is great. And and the beauty of the hot hatch is not only the hot side of it, you know, <laughs> the fun turbocharged engine, but the space that you get behind the yep. back seat. So the practicality of a crossover, the fun of a car. Yeah. It's it the, checks out. We don't have to convince ourselves. The economy of a car, yeah. the fun, yeah, of a sports car, the utility of a CUV or SUV. The fuel economy of a car. Yeah. A lot of boxes being checked, Corey. A lot of boxes. The great big one that trumps all, though, is the wife box. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately. I don't think that, that one will ever be checked. Probably not. On a hot hatch. On a hot hatch, yep. Man, I like this. <laughs> That's the more time you spend in it, the more you, yeah. you, you settle into it, the more Seats right it are feels. comfortable. Like, yeah, I like this. this one back unfortunately we can't take it home